In this session, we focus on pulling in your money as quickly as possible. By that, I mean, how do we get customers to pay their invoices on time, every time? Well, up till now, there's been a number of good add-ons, for example, Chaser, that you could use, which link to Xero. But now Xero has introduced their own version of this. So I'm going to show you quickly and easily how to set up invoice reminders within Xero. First thing you need to do is go to the sales dashboard. So we can do that by clicking on accounts and sales. The next thing you need to do is click on awaiting payment and you will see this nice new button appeared. Now, if it's the first time you've been into this page, you will get an invoice reminders pop up. Alternatively, you just get this symbol just here. Now, if we click on here, get rid of the help box. We can turn it on by ticking this tick box just here and you will see there's now three due dates already programmed in as standard. You can have up to five of these. Um, so personally, we use 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, 40 days, 50 days, where the 50 day one is particularly uh, stressy, saying if they don't act within five days, then we'll take further action. To edit each invoice, you just click the edit button. You can go through, change the invoice as much as you like, you can change the number of days overdue. You can even insert placeholders if you need to, so you can completely customize your email. You can actually send them in advance, so you can say due in. Now, obviously, if you use something like directly or go cardless to pull in your money, then put in a payment in advance can confuse matters because people will pay you via a bank transfer and then you go take the money anyway via direct debit. So. I would say only use the due in option if you uh, actually don't use one of those functionalities. Change the email and then click the save button. Now underneath here you have a couple of tick boxes. First one says include a link to the invoice PDF. Now I would say always tick this one because if the other person uses something like Receipt Bank then obviously Receipt Bank needs a PDF attachment in order to work. Second one is don't send reminders for amounts owing on an invoice under. Now, if you leave it at a pound, basically anything smaller than a pound doesn't get chased, but it also means that credit notes don't get chased as well. So if you actually have an outstanding credit note, it won't tell someone that they owe you negative money. Um, personally, because our invoices are generally uh, over 25 pounds, we've actually set this to 15, just so it says, you know, don't send reminders for anything under 15 pounds. You can set it to whatever you like. That's not a problem. Once you're done, simply click save. And there we go. Invoices will now automatically be chased on their overdue date. As part of the uh, reminder process, you can also see that it now has overdue by, and you can see that we have a number of days listed down there as well. So it's now uh, added increased reportability as well. Now, there may be times when you don't want to send out invoice reminders to set clients. Now, let's say they're your favorite client and you don't want to annoy them, then that's not a problem at all. You just need to go up to contacts, all contacts, find them within the customers section. Now we use basket case. And you see here, it says invoice reminders on. Well, if we click on options, we can turn off invoice reminders. Invoice reminders off. There you go. If you have any more questions, please do let us know. We're available on 0330 330 7777. You can also visit our website at www.7accounts.com. Now, we're not just a firm of chartered certified accountants. We also work alongside other accountants. So if you've got an accountant you're happy with, but they're not too good with zero, we're happy to work with you as well. As I say, please do give us a call and we'll hopefully speak to you soon.